Welcome to Wolf GMC Buick. Today we're going to be taking a look at a used 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee walnut brown metallic paint with a black and dark sienna brown interior. Under the hood you have a 5.7 liter V8 engine paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Some features you can expect to find include adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, active park sense, parking sensors, dual pane power sunroof, and so much more. Let's go take a look. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. You can see that black and dark sienna brown interior on the door panel as well as along the dash at the front of the vehicle, center console, and the seats. Storage compartment on the bottom of the door panel next to the speaker system. Memory settings for the driver's seat and mirrors with power locks, windows, and mirrors. On the panel next to the steering wheel, you'll find your interior and exterior lighting controls, steering wheel audio controls on the back of the steering wheel, as well as paddle shifters you can see from the front. You have the brown leather bucket seats with summit etching at the top of the seat, power controls and lumbar support located on the side. Inside the vehicle, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you have your directional controls and voice recognition. While on the right, you have your cruise control settings, adaptive cruise control settings down here for the gap adjust here as well. The directional controls change the information screen in front of you. There's plenty of information and vehicle maintenance screens here that you can scroll through. You can see all of those here, plenty of screens, fuel economy, trip gauges, the music you're listening to, vehicle messages and system information. Below you have the climate control system. This has your temperature gauge, fan speed, air conditioning controls, as well as your park sense down on the bottom with your parking sensors and lane departure warning, several different driving modes. You can see the volume dial here and the radio tuner on the right hand side there. Underneath, you'll find a small storage compartment with a few outlets for you to use. Next to the shifter, a dual cup holder. Several different driving modes here, just in front of the center console. We'll open that up. You have a small storage space on the top. You also have deeper storage underneath for even more storage space. Up top, you have the rear view mirror, of course. You also have three preset garage door openers and the controls for your power sunroof. And just in front of the passenger, you'll find the glove box. So there's some storage space in the front of the vehicle if you need it. Moving on, we'll go ahead and take a look at the exterior. You have that walnut brown metallic paint, chrome Jeep logo above the chrome grill. You have the accents along the bottom of the front bumper as well, LED headlamps, aluminum wheels with the Jeep center caps, paint matched mirror caps with your integrated turn signal and blind spot alert on the front, paint matched door handles with keyless entry, the black Grand Cherokee logo on the side with the accents along the bottom as well. We'll take a further look at the back. You have the Jeep logo in the center, the 4x4 and Summit logos in each corner. The power lift gate opens on its own. You can use the handle, the controls on the key as well. Lots of storage space in the back, tethering locations on the backs of the seats. Smaller storage compartment on the left-hand side. You can see the speaker on the right-hand side here as well, as well as an outlet. You can lift the full floor panel here. This will give you more storage space underneath and access to your spare tire. And when you're all done, you can use the button on the left-hand side here to close the lift gate. Finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior in the rear. You have that same black and brown color scheme that you had in the front, mesh magazine holders on the backs of the seats, the brown leather seating as well. The center folds down for cup holders for the rear passengers. You can see the summit etching at the top of the seat here as well. You can use the handle on the side to bring the seat forward, giving you even more storage space in the back. The seats fold back up super easily as well. And on the back of the center console at the bottom, you'll find your rear heated seat controls, as well as a few outlets for the rear passengers to use. Thanks so much for joining me as we took a look at a used 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel so you can get more video reviews just like this one, and we hope to see you in the near future.